Welcome to Hoodoo TV. I'm Hoosier. And I'm Jared. And we're talking about Freeway Fighter today. Right. Yeah, it's a, a new book by Andy Ewington. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Andy reached out mm-hmm. and he uh, told us about this new book that he's write, uh, writing. Uh, that he did the adaptation to comic books for. Yeah, yeah. It was originally a RPG game book mm-hmm. uh, by Ian Livingston. Um, it was part of his fighting fantasy series. Mad Max-esque world uh, with scarce resources. And so Andy Ewington took it and created this pretty cool book. Right. And here at Hoodoo TV, we don't really review books that we don't like. Yep. So uh, obviously we like this book. Um, enough to do a review for it. So this books, I want to give some credit to to the artist, uh, Lynn O'Grady, um, did some great colors, and then the penciling work by Simon Colby. Yeah, so, some really good work. It looks great. I think the cars are amazing. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> the, the car design is super cool. I kept flipping through the book and thinking like, man, her car is just badass. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing, um, I'm a former race car driver. Mm-hmm. I used to drive a race car. Um, it's kind of cool. In this book, she drives a race car number forty-four, and that was my race car. My race car number. That's for a while. pretty cool. <laughs> right. So the one issue I had was when it shows Bella De La Rosa in her race car, and she's wearing this seat belt that's just covering her shoulders. <laughs> a full race car harness covers her shoulders and goes across the belt, <laughs> and you don't have keys in a steering column in a race car. <laughs> right. And so okay. that threw me off at first. I had to like, ah, oh, dang it. That's, they got that wrong. That's really funny to me because, like, you're a race car. You were a race car driver. You knew what to look for right. and the types of equipment that's actually in a race car. <laughs> I, as you know, a layman, just totally took it as like, <laughs> oh yeah, she's racing. This is cool. Right. <laughs> right. Um, and so that's just my quirk of it. I mean, her that's arms hilarious. are fully extended, and if you're turning with your arm straight, it doesn't really work. You want to have it to where you can move your arms back and forth. <laughs> so, but I got over it because the art was actually really good. Really, when it got down to it, those are the only little gripe I had of this book. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, so it starts off, uh, it's a race. Uh, it takes place in the year 2022, uh, and she's in this race against this green car, and mm-hmm. uh, it's just kind of a... Yeah, it's it's a cool start. Shows that she is proficient in driving. That she's right. a legit race car driver. Right, and she's like a second generation driver. Yeah. So we talk about her father as a race car driver in the past. Right, right. Um, she's coming up from behind to kind of get the lead on this guy. Yeah, and then it comes to this this really cool transition. I really mm-hmm. love this. So she's coming up from behind, and then it's uh, it's showing a couple frames, and then the. The dr- driver in the lead kind of looks behind him. He looks worried, you know, because she's coming up right next to him, and it looks like she's about to flip him. Right. Well, in the direction that he's in, yeah, he's yeah. being flipped. Yeah. And then you turn the page, and it comes up to this wasteland, and it's the same action of a car being flipped by her vehicle, mm-hmm. but it's now this this dune buggy with like mounted guns on it right. and everything. So two years later. Yeah. And so she's got this cool like bumper cattle guard. Uh, with spikes coming out of it up front. Yeah. Definitely Mad Max-esque. Absolutely, yeah. She built the car for, you know, this new wasteland, this world that she's living in. There's even reinforced steel around the the windshield. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really cool. Right. It's a death race. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) exactly. Um, And and again, the art's just really good on it, really clean. What I appreciate about the colors with the Wasteland, if you you look at where it starts, it's very bright and vibrant colors, especially on her vehicle. Right. Um, When we're set two years into the future here, the car is much more grimier and dirtier and it's, uh, the colors really show that too, it's much, they're they're duller colors and yeah, it looks really good, looks really good, looks like a Wasteland. It's just guns and everything glowing. Yeah. And so she's in the middle of a of a chase. It looks like somebody's chasing her down, and they got this machine gun just blaring at her, just trying to shoot her, trying to kill her. And so she's racing it, basically. She's using her race car skills to uh, try to survive. Yeah, yeah. It's and it's almost like she uses her car as a weapon as well, because mm-hmm. she she spins her car around and charges you know plays chicken pretty much with them and right <laughs> yeah she's she's really proficient in her driving she just seems like a tough chick mm-hmm. right she seems like you know not saying a whole lot doing what she has to do the setting of this it writes in this book 
The year is 2024, 18 months after an unknown virus wiped out over 85% of the world's population. The remainder were faced with a new world order where violence and chaos rule unchallenged. Former I-400 driver Bella De La Rosa is one of the 15% living every day as if it were her last. She must hone her racing skills to become a scavenger of the freeway and survive any way she can. I, I thought it was pretty good. I did too. I, I liked it. Uh, it was very entertaining, kept me engaged. And this is something I'd like to, you know, continue to see where it goes. Right. Yeah. Check out some more stuff that's coming with it. I would uh, yeah. definitely agree. I'm really curious at why, why it has the title of Freeway Fighter, why it's, why it's an adaptation of Ian Livingston's game, you right. know, his book, uh, because it could be any sort of uh, post-apocalyptic, you know, car racing story, right. you know, so uh, I'd be curious to kind of know what Andy's process of adaptation was for this one. But yeah, I, I agree. I'm kind of curious to how the game actually played out. Uh, makes me want to look up the game a little bit, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I'm just curious at what... Andy did with the game when he took the the rule book of this game right. and um, you know what what came out of that to bring this story forward that he's he's writing right. yeah so I enjoyed this book um, I definitely think it's a read uh, I so far with story art um, I think both of them I'm given like a, a 4.25 yeah so yeah overall score on the book 4.25 I'd be around there too um, it's super action-packed uh, there's not a whole lot of dialogue in it but um, I mean, sometimes you just need one of those, right. one of those stories, which is a lot of fun. So right. it leaves you questioning, right? It's a perfect book where it doesn't yeah. give you, doesn't sell the sell the farm right away. Exactly. And exactly. Uh, it definitely lets you know that she's a rough tumble chick that has got a little bit more to her story than um, what somebody who is rough and tumble would openly give you in a first story. For sure, for sure. She's probably guarded and, you know, it's going to take us a while to get past that too, so. Right. Yeah, keep your eyes out for this one. Uh, I think it's definitely a book that uh, is worth checking out, you know, um, seeing if it's up your alley. If you like Mad Max, I think this is like the perfect book. Follow us on Twitter at Hoodoo TV. Let us know if you like this book, what books you're reading, um, what else we should be looking out for. If you have a chance to pick up this book as well, let us know what you think at the bottom uh, here in the comments. Uh, subscribe, like, uh, you know, hit the bell so that whenever we put out something new, you're notified. Uh, yeah, definitely. All right. We appreciate you guys. Thank you very Absolutely. much. Absolutely. Yeah, thank have you. Have a great day.